Hello, and welcome to the Jekyll Hyde Club. Where were your co-presidents, Morticia and Gomez, here to bring you, well, I suppose in Potter language, we could say we solemnly swear that we're up to no good. And we will equally be up to no good in every video if you would like to check our past interesting hauls and other items that we will show you and have shown you in the past. Like, subscribe, and that's how you become a member of the Jekyll High Club, by merely subscribing. Then you can be unruly and disordered, too. So charming, those qualities, aren't they, Gomez? Yes. Just like a book who will bite you to show its love. Oh, or a hippogriff that makes such a dangerous pet. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Now, the cool thing would be if he were sitting on top of the book. <laughs> well, I guess, but then it might bite him in a, like, you know, unprudent area or something. Like That's that. true. Okay, so we are here to present our Harry Potter haul. We have um, accessories, jewelry, all kinds of fun stuff, and we get them at really good prices, so we're here to share that with you. The keychain first that Gomez is displaying is his new lovely Buckbeak the Hippogriff. And it's so cool because this one isn't like an overdone, silly, cartoony, like Funko or anything. It looks real, uh, as in realistic, as in like not overdone where he has a huge bubble head or anything. Um, it's like a mini action figure that's made really well. And, you know, except it's a keychain, so you can have it either or. I think Gomez puts it on his lanyard with his Book of Monsters and other accoutrements. And it can also just be an action figure. And it came from Universal and it was made by Warner Bros., who also made my favorite Gremlin stuff back in the day, yay. So he was, I think, $10, and we looked on eBay, so just check for Harry Potter Hippogriff Buckbeak Keychain, and you would find him. And he is from Universal and made by Warner Bros. And he's probably like three inches or four inches by two or three inches. Like, I love the position. You see all the 3D detail. You see the wings, the beautiful, majestic head. And he's got his front legs kind of folded and his back legs stretched out while he's in flight. And the tail is visible as well. So, yeah, he's got it all covered. And I really like the realism. What do you think, Gomez? Yes, I enjoy playing with him. It's so easy to feature different sides of him because he has so much depth and detail. Yes, like I said, like a real realistic kind of depiction for like a, it could be a toy or a key ring or whatever instead of like the more stylized versions. Yes, my t-shirt describes so well. And shall we move to a, a stylized version now? <laughs> um, this is, I, I prefer, again, the more realistic version. I would love a miniature of, like, our, our big book or the little furry one that we have as a wallet um, for a keychain where it shows more of the detail everywhere. But this is um, monogram keychain, and it's the Book of Monsters. And it is, yes, yeah, by monogram. And it is more stylized. But, you know, it's the only one that there is. So it's also like a hard vinyl plastic whatnot, but where Buckbeak is more realistic, as you can see, this doesn't have all the detail, but it's got the teeth and whatnot on the front. It still looks like it could bite someone if it wished. And it's a heavy kind of solid piece. I do like that. It's got a weight to it. Um, it's a, a solid piece of plastic through and through. They used it just a big chunk, so it won't, like, it shouldn't be fragile or succumb to wear and tear or anything and it's also a nice i'm going to use it on my lanyard so it's a nice little accoutrement we love books we love monsters so get them together and it's perfect and this is um also around ten dollars online and we ordered it on ebay again so just check for monogram um, i think it was a blind bag harry potter or something but you know obviously we got it after somebody else already bought a case and we didn't have to which is a smart way to go. Just watch unboxing, see the ones you want, and then look for them online. Then you don't have to buy a bunch of stuff that you don't want and have doubles. That's how we roll. So, did you want to comment on anything on the book specifically, Gomez, dear? Um, I like the number of eyes, and I like that special touch. That I guess it looks sort of like a key to me where it says Harry Potter on it that I've been shown also. Well, that makes sense because it's on a key ring, so it would look keyish. Maybe it's supposed to be like Gringotts key, but it has Harry Potter on it, like... Yeah, it seems like an intricate key, like with a design that's less usual than some. So I could see it being a Gringotts or from one of the Forbidden Libraries or something. There like. is a Gringotts key hearing, but I couldn't find. A lot of times, unfortunately, online, they don't tell you what they're made of. And I wanted a Gringotts key that was like a solid piece so I could make it into a pendant or something instead of a keychain. I mean, like metal, not like plastic. I don't really want to wear plasticky pendants. So 
I wanted a metal one and I'm still looking and I've seen Gringotts key keychains, but I, they're not telling you again what it's made of. So it's annoying when you look on a site and they just like, don't tell you that. It's like, well, you know, it would be nice to know. So I'm still kind of hunting a metal version of the Gringotts key for a pendant or a key ring that looks really cool. And of course our globe is so spectacular. I like the way it's not just the globe itself that features uh, a Potter and Severus together, which is a nice touch, but also how the bottom of it is shaped like one of those gingerbread houses with the steampunkish uh, features on it. It's like really nice. Maybe it's supposed to look castle-esque. Yeah. And I don't know if it says on the bottom who made it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, potions bottle with my lizard on it. I bought it because I love lizards, and he's got a, the bottle has a lizard on it. Oh, you can show that. It came from Dollar Tree last Halloween, but it might be out again. Look how I was going to say last year. I was between last year and last Halloween, so my word came out different. I think so. it says lizard le legs, which is presumably... Oh, I thought that said I have newt. Oh, well. Uh, maybe it's on the other side, but it, either way, I think it works because that's what somebody would need in their potions and well, stuff. Well, yeah, so it's got a lizard bottle, and it has a... Very 3D, I love it, and he's got such neat eyes, and I love lizards, yay. And it's got a lizard on it, and it's a potions bottle, so it's just very lovely and detailed. He's, like, hugging the bottle. Yes. Like a dragon with his treasure, but it's a lizard with his bottle. So this was great. It was, like, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, like, the cork doesn't come out. It's not a real bottle, but it looks like one, and it's kind of like a, um, resin, and it just looks cool you got the lizard and the potion does it say on the bottom where it's from i wonder it's probably just made in china or something yeah one of those i think it's supposed to be green briar international oh green briar that makes sense because they um those lanterns that we showed on our um one of our halloween hauls that are like hard plastic and they are 3D and one's a witch and a ghost and like there was a pumpkin. I just didn't get that one because it looked different than what I wanted. But anyway, um, it was the right kind of ghost. I'm so ghost picky. Anyway, it was Greenbrier, <laughs> so that makes sense. Gomez, that's perfect. Good. Um, Greenbrier has a bunch of different stuff when you look them up online, but they also apparently have this. Oh, I like the way the thing is on top. It's all like... Yeah, it has uh, like its own character. Yeah, very cool. Anyway, that was an awesome find for a dollar. I love Dollar Tree. It's just lovely. And then Severus and Harry inside. Okay, I didn't turn it off yet, so it was motion censoring. But we all get to enjoy the lovely Harry Potter music while we show some Harry Potter jewelry. Um, I have shown jewelry before from this company. They have a lot of really good Harry Potter stuff. They are Xanadu. And here's their card. They're on Etsy. They have really good stuff. Um, a lot of times if you look for Harry Potter jewelry, like from Universal or... Um, other places selling it from Universal, you're going to pay like 10 times more than Xanadu. So, I mean, it's great quality. It's the same thing. It's just not got the Harry Potter trademark words on it. But you know what? Who cares when you can get it for so much less? And it's really nice quality. I'm not into... I'm into low prices, not low quality. So, um, what we did... These Xanadu sells charms and pendants. And they you have to put your own jump rings in them if they're necessary. Because they're like supplies. They're wholesale supplies. But a lot, certain ones you don't even have to do anything to. Like, um, they came in this bag. It's a big chiffon bag, so I can reuse it. I love it. It's one of those drawstrings. And we got sorting hats and Deathly Hollows um, symbols. So, we will show you. I will take my sorting hat off and show you Gomez. And I kept them on for pictures for our Instagram and everywhere else. Come on, sorting hat. Don't mess up my hair or my glasses <laughs> or my other pendant or my bat ponytail holder that you're caught in now. <laughs> bat is getting sorted into a Slytherin <laughs> because that's our house because Gomez and I are unruly. Okay, this is not okay. <laughs> All right, good. See, you just tell something that it's not okay and it usually shapes up. <laughs> It was coming off. It was. Oh, there it goes. All right. The bat's just like, I really want to go to Hogwarts. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Now, um, I got this ribbon. I'm going to give this to Gomez to show. First, the hat itself, it's large. And I think she was selling these for like $3 a piece, roughly, or less. And it's large. It's metal. It's 3D. It's solid. And it's like, I would say, two inches by almost 
two inches. It's big by like an inch and a half, but it's not gaudy big. And it could be a keychain if you wanted that. It could be, a, we're using them as pendants. And again, 3D metal and you see the sorting hat face and it's just fantastic. And it's great for either gender, um, like the, most of the stuff that we get. And it is, um, it's got the, the hole at the top but the hole, sometimes when you buy like a charm or a piece you have to set, the hole is so tiny that you have to add a metal jump ring. You can't just run the cord through it um, because it's too small. But this hole at the top is big, which is good because I didn't have to add an unnecessary jump ring. And I could wear it facing forward where the sorting hat was looking out at you. Um, so when I have it on, like we're going to show pictures eventually, I am going to have it where it's facing out toward you and so does Gomez because it's on him and it's facing out so it's, it's if you put a jump ring on it would kind of have to go to the side like it would turn sideways where you got like a view of the side and where the hat um tip is kind of tilted to either the left or the right which is fine if you want to do that but you could also still do that with a ribbon without the jump ring um but I like to show the face forward so it shows like where the you see the whole starting hat face and the point being where that hook is you don't have to add a jump ring and it hangs the perfect right way as it is so it's just a brilliant make and I love that I get technical sometimes because I make stuff so um I just really appreciate that you don't have to be a crafter at all to buy this pendant and set it for yourself you just get some ribbon um, as you can see, it's a thin ribbon. We put it on green because we are Slytherins. I was going to do two strands, two ribbons, kind of weave them together of green and silver, and I accidentally used all the silver, so I have to get some more silver and add, and then it will be the green and silver entwined. But this looks okay on the green, and I wanted to go ahead and do the haul and show you guys. So it is just the green, and the sorting hat is on it. But, you know, you can get a silk ribbon from, like, Walmart or any, um, like, fabric store that has ribbon, and this is, like, a thinner one. Um, I think it's, like, a two or three mil, but I tested a ribbon that I have on my Viennese Knights Alchemy Gothic Fat Bracelet that is like, I think, an eight mil or something, and it still goes through there just fine. So, like, if you wanted a thicker look, then the thicker ribbon will still go through that sorting hat hole in a beautiful, lovely, good way. So, Gomez, do you have any comments on that? Um, I like uh, all the hats uh, that we have. They're so big and they're made so well. And yeah, it, we have sorting hats that we showed in other Harry Potter halls at Universal that he's referring to. His keychain and our Slytherin charm bracelets have them. Yeah. And they have such characteristic face, like I could see their own personality. And also, I guess the very uh, kind of magic that was used to create, it was always interested me. So, But that's just for Harry Potter fans, of course. So. Well, they're probably Harry Potter fans if they're watching this or they're just bored. And if they are, then you should read the books because they're better than the movies. That's true. So, if you wish to speak, I'm sure they will understand Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to speak on the magic before we show the Deathly Hollow, speak on it, brother! What? <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like such an interesting magic that's able to match you exactly with your skills. And it kind of makes sense to me that there were cases in the books where somebody could not be place precisely into a single category because people are more complex than just a simplified value here. I belong to this one. I'm smart. I'm cunning. Most people have more than one of those attributes. And I like the fact that it was shown in the book that several people could have, could go into either one of the houses for that reason. Yes. And when we write um, our characters in our um, play by email role play game, I play Phileas and he's always saying that he wanted Severus in Ravenclaw and he was so smart that he could have been a Ravenclaw if he hadn't gone into Slytherin. So that's a good point. Good. Also, Severus is um, one of the many that Phileas is resentful to not have in Ravenclaw in that game. <laughs> yes, when you consider the earliest memories we have of Severus as a child is always with the books. Yeah, so, so he's like, you know, <laughs> could have, should have been in my house. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And and we are the same. We're very bookish, so we would have been in Ravenclaw if not Slytherin. And so we relate to Severus well. Yes. Except all the crap they did in book six and seven, which we're going to ignore and walk away from. So. <laughs> <laughs> Severus does not respect books six and seven. He's alive and doing well. <laughs> and, okay, so the next is a charm. And these charms came, like, ten for a few dollars. And they're very well made. I'm going to let Gomez show you. They're double-sided, meaning that it has the same thing on both sides. A lot of people call... 3D double-sided, but that's not accurate because if you have something's front and back and you turn it around and it's the back, it's not a double of the front side. That drives me nuts. A lot of professional sites do that. <laughs> this is literally double-sided, meaning that it has the Deathly Hollows 
symbol on both sides. This is smaller and more delicate. It has a great hole. You can slip the ribbon through to make it into a keychain or a pendant if you would like smaller charm pendants or attach it to something else. Like um, I've done designs for others where I attached it to the top of the sorting hat where it hangs down from the brim, you know, through the hole where the ribbon goes. Um, and it would hang and like have the sorting hat with the Deathly Hollows charm hanging. It's just Xanadu's stuff is so neat that there are so many ways you can arrange it and make your own personalized designs. And then you have this custom Harry Potter piece that you did for yourself, be it a necklace or a keychain. And you can like totally customize and then have your version. And it's a really low, low price. So like if you wanted, it would look pretty expensive too. Like the sorting hat with the Deathly Hollows charm hanging off the tip, you know, like for a necklace, you could do it for like five bucks or under. And then including the ribbon, that, that charm and the hat. And you have extra charms to go because you get a ton of charms for like three bucks. And the charms I have sold as earrings, as pendants for people who like smaller pendants, as a charm bracelet. I made a charm bracelet with several Deathly Hallows charms going around. And the bracelet itself was quartz crystal beads on stretch cord. So just so many things you can do with these. I even made a ring for a guy that wanted a Deathly Hallows ring. You know those little charm rings? I just made a thick band of spiraled silver. And if you guys want to know how to make rings out of beading wire, and then you can put this in the middle, check my five Halloween DIY craft ideas because um, I did a collab with the Haunted Bat and we called it Halloween but the stuff can be adapted to any time and you know used with any kind of like pattern or things that you want to do they're very versatile so um, then you can see how to make a Deathly Hallows ring but I like it it kind of looks like the Celtic triad too so if someone is into Harry Potter and Celtic stuff you could enjoy that symbol Possibly reflecting its origins with the story of the three brothers who cheated death. So again, the power of three in a sense. Like charmed. Yes. Or me Gomez and Slappy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Or Morticia Gomez and Lurch, if we count Lurch. But Lurch doesn't live with us right now because he's living in another state. See, I'm not going to leave your address, Lurch, and like have people stalk you, even though the girls would just love to do that. Oh, so many fans for Lurch. Yes. So, um, yeah, right now it's Gomez and me and Slappy as the triad. Morticia Gomez and Slappy doing spells to be heavy or something. <laughs> I like that didn't that. sound very mystical. Oh, well. <laughs> well, that's how Chad would do it, so. Yeah. Okay, that's good. You made me feel better. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, you guys should check out Xanadu. They have cauldrons. They have, um, wands. They have really nice stuff. We've done a, a haul already with the wands. I'm going to get some more stuff soon from them. Quills, cauldrons, whatnot. And there will be another haul coming. But this is the haul that we have now. And we hope you have enjoyed it. And we do have other Harry Potter hauls from Universal and whatnot. So check them out. And until next time. Try to enjoy the daylight.